After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking the trip and the cops have threw me in jail. And my fingers are ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Give me out, just give me out. We're down here in Lee County. This is uh, the downtown jail in Fort Myers, Florida. This is maximum security inmates, murderers, shoplifters, kidnappers, everyone like that. Any given night, we have close to 700 inmates here. Uh, we're going out to Salad Port to get a disorderly from Lee County. My boy, Deputy Ellis. Okay, Ellis. Is this you? Yeah. What's up, man? Uh, domestic battery, then he has occupied burglary, and then three separate batteries. So, he's pretty intoxicated. Uh, not just mouthing off, he's been trying to kick the windows and stuff. Okay. Come on out, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm no killer, but I don't sell crack. Don't shock me. Look at me, man. Look I'm gonna help me, you man. out. Boom. Don't shock me. I ain't got no dope on me. I ain't reacting. Look at me. Yeah, I ain't doing nothing. Just take me, man. Put me in the shower and get this face off me, man. Yeah, come get me. Yeah, yeah, you hear me? I ain't no killer, dude. I ain't no killer. Listen, so listen, None of that, listen. Dude. Just please put listen. me in the shower, dude. Get off me, dude. You aren't listening to me I'm, since you're talking. I'll stop. It's, there you go. I don't need anything out of you till we're done. Just please put me in the shower, man. Please. Yeah, dude. Uh, uh, along with the mother, dude. That's need cool, to be you. Man. You need to quit with that language. I will, man. So what, dude? I live with these. Stop. Dirt, dude. Stop. I just stopped by your house, dude. Okay. Stop. Another can sitting right in your face. You need to stop. That's awesome. I'll stop. Hey, shut your mouth. He starts yelling racial slurs in front of them. He can decide everybody else to go off. And we don't need that. We need to control the inmates. We need to calm down the situation. Stop. Oh. Put it in a wrapper. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You need to stop. I will stop, man. Just put me in the water, dude. Watch your hands. Oh, Right now he's in for domestic violence along with three other additional battery charges. He uh, attempted to kick out the cruiser windows. He attempted to uh, flee once they got in there to try and control him in the back seat. So he was definitely giving the road a handful and he came in and tried to continue from there. As you see, he was uh, yelling racial slurs at this point in time in the housing area, trying to disrupt and incite everyone else and get them to stand up and try and draw attention away from himself. He also started pulling away from Officer Amoroso. At that time is when we applied the OC spray to try and get him back under control. Hang on something, hold the door. This kid's been coming in here the last couple of years on uh, juvenile charges for drug possession. Why are you trying to fall back, man? Keep walking. He turned 18, so this isn't the juvenile side no more. This is male, adult, jail. Take a right, right into this cell. Put your knees on this bench and lean forward. Knees on the bench. Knees on the bench, dude. Come on. What? We got a broken arm. Man, you throw my shoulder against the wall, man. Nobody throw your shoulder against the You're wall. You're pushing my shoulder. I've been pushing your shoulder. I'm Listen to me, man. There's three bars inside my shoulder, and you're pushing it against the concrete. 
Is that better? Yeah, that is better. Did you have a nurse come and check him out? Good job. Have the nurse come and check him out before you take the cup. So. 10 poor ma'am. Can you 56 1 East? We're in 1 D7. Check on a new 10 15, please. Take my yep. Yeah, we're gonna take your hoodie. We're not at daycare, man. This ain't no joke. This is jail. No, listen, this is cruelty. I'm gonna file a complaint. Go ahead. I'm throwing my shoulder against the wall, man. I just had surgery two days ago, man. Then what are you doing out at one o'clock in the morning? I wasn't out at one o'clock in the morning. What's going with your arm? I got three different sets of stitches with three brackets in my arm. Sit down. Are you gonna bond out? What's up? Are you gonna bond, he bond out? He, either he's gonna release to his mommy and daddy, or he's going to DJJ. Is this a juvenile thing? I can't. He's an adult DJJ. here on juvenile charges. He violated his juvenile probation, is what he did. My that was not nice. You can go to D. They still take you to DJ. Oh yeah, you can still go to DJ, like right? This? Yes, yeah. sir. Absolutely. They told me they could. Well, oh, lied somebody to lied to you. The police, the officers. Well, they, they lied. lied. It happens all the time. Don't feel bad. They got you. You're so mistreated. You were so sick. You should have been being hated. Someone has to get a hold of my dad and let him know. You will get a chance to use the phone. Don't worry. Hey, this, man. Ain't the, this ain't the juvenile sites. I know that, but you my get, dad hey, has no idea. In six hours, you can use the phone. Have a good night. Sit down. This is just the thing this kid needs to change his life and realize that this isn't the juvenile side no more. This is a place where you can get beat up and stabbed, and you know, this ain't DJJ. This is a big time. Jail's not a fun place to be. in the jail now for uh, three years. We're trained mostly to deal with our hands and uh, verbally how to deal with people because we don't have the tools that the patrol officers have as far as tasers and our weapons. Hi. Come stand over here. Where were you at tonight dressed up so fancy? I was getting married. Oh. What did you dress you for, do you know? I already paid the bill and I gave him a 90% tip. Drop your hands onto your sides. I need to get this ring on. Wow, yes you do. Yeah, I've been trying to tell them for hours. Is it always like that? No, it's a brand new ring. Ow, please don't touch my finger. Did you break your finger? No. The ring got swollen after I started stressing out. My blood pressure is probably through the roof and I can't get it off. I kind of need to go to the hospital rather than stand here and waste time. Well, actually, we cut them off here. Let's see what the nurse says. Maybe she can give her some medication to take down the swelling first, all right? Just bought it today. I wonder what she's rested for. Let's see. Did you guys bring in a prom queen? What'd you rest her for? You brought in an innkeeper over $250 of felony. They ordered, like, they went into a restaurant and ordered, like, $650 worth of food. No check, credit card, debit card, cash. She walked up and was like, oh, I'm going to go to grab my, uh, go back to my hotel room and grab the money. Like an hour went by, they found her in the casino. Gambling? Yeah, basically hanging out and then took them into custody. They got nothing on them, not even a dime. Yeah, she said she was about to get married tonight. They supposedly <laughs> knew each other, met again last night in, in Vegas, and now they're getting married. Today. Not anymore. Or tonight, not anymore. Not for the next couple of days, at least. All <laughs> right, thanks. All right, so we're going to get some ring cutters. We actually have those here because it is a common thing to take rings off in here. We usually take rings from inmates that are um, big and bulky, big diamonds, because if they do get into an altercation, it leaves uh, good damage on the uh, victim of the altercation. I thought he still had some chemicals.
cash, and if he didn't have cash, that he may have had an ATM card or whatever. But I had no idea the bill was going to come to $600. We got one meal to share and an appetizer. Okay, let me go ahead. Let me see. I'm going to cut on the purple, okay? Mm. Understand it's going to hurt because I'm going to have to put the thing underneath the ring, okay? All right, ready? Mm -hmm. oh. Need a break? Tell me if you need a break. Try to get those other rings off. Here we go again. We got lots of jewelry coming, just so you know, and I gotta try to get some rings off. We're gonna see if the lotion will get your um, rings off. Let's do the easy hand first. Mm. Oh. Stop. It's coming. It's almost there. Just gotta get over the knuckle. Ah, oh, there we go. There's one. We have about four more coming, maybe. That hand still hurts. There's no way. Sorry. I don't know how I could possibly hurt anyone with that. How many rings do you have on that finger? Three. Three uh, rings riding on the finger that are going to stay for now. I'm sorry? Are you working? I own a company. How long have you been self-employed? Mm, about four months. Uh, how much do you pay yourself? I don't know. I just dropped 500 grand in the last 48 hours. You, that's how much you paid yourself? $48,000? $500,000. Five. Okay, you paid yourself a half a million dollars a week. But because of her amount of income, she will actually uh, need to bail herself out. Seeing as how she didn't have any credit cards on or any cash, she'll be staying in our custody, and that'll be her life for the next couple hours. I've been with the department here at Stanislaus County Jail for seven years. I work in the intake position. It's probably one of the more dangerous positions here because these guys coming in, these fresh arrestees, you know, they're, they're drunk, they're under the influence of controlled substance and whatnot, and you know, you can never let your guard down. You got guys coming in with horrendous crimes. You know, some guys are coming in with just simple crimes, but the bottom line is, you know, I gotta treat everybody the same, get them talking, and build some kind of rapport with them. It's a dangerous spot, and you gotta be on your toes. And you say you discharged or you're still on parole? I'm on parole. You're on parole? What did you use today? Are you on the influence or anything? No, sir. You sure? I swear to God. Okay. I can test clean for everything. All right. Had a few beers, but you know, I'm a five feet. You you're a little bit animated right now. You know now. how I do that. Yeah. Just a couple beers or like a few? Yeah, 40 I'm cool. ounces. No, I'm good. I'm just totally sober. Just kind of drove how come I'm here. He's been here in the past. He is a parolee. And you get all your you get you got all your t your tats in prison, right? Yeah. All right. It's got a few white pride tats because you run with the woods, right? Yeah. All right. But you get along with everybody else. You're not you're not gonna have any problems no, in the I'm integrated cool. cell. I'm alright. I'm on my best behavior. <laughs> Give me some. All right. You get a new, you get a build a clean cell. Yeah. All right. Grab a seat out there. He's back in custody. Um, looks like he's got fresh charges. Uh, same thing as last time, 422 PC, which is criminal threats of violence. And uh, 
136.1a, which is to prevent or dissuade a witness. His world basically is, is prison, is state prison. And from the looks of it, every time he gets out, he goes right back in. And it's always some type of resisting arrest or threat. That his parole officer finally violated him this time, so that history that he has with violence uh, comes back to haunt him. Can I take your pulse? Yes, ma'am. Put your finger in here. He's considered uh, a shot caller, which means that with the whites, he's considered one of the leaders. He gets drugs organized and running throughout the facility, and uh, guys like that, we have to keep them under wraps so we can watch them. But I got a lot of racial on me. You know what I mean? Pretty high power. I mean, it comes with a reason. Prison's not like it used to be. Now they'll put anybody in there. You know, there's people that don't know no better. They get in wrecks all day long, but we try to take them and make them into, you know, something solid instead of letting them go to. But where I come from, I'm up at the top level. Don't get no worse, sir. You got level one, which is a medium threat, level two, and it, get, and it just accelerates. Level four is the highest you can get. And those are usually the guys who are, are violent. You can just look at his arms and tell what kind of criminal or a convict he is. I mean, all of his tats are earned one way or another, whether it's assaulting the inmate or trying to assault the prison guard. He's the kind of guy that you don't want to turn your back on and you don't trust anything he tells you. He's a career criminal and uh, he's dangerous. These guys come in, they got the swastika on, they got the white power. You know, I don't take it personal. I mean, it's, it's just part of the job. And my job is to try to communicate with these guys and get information. And regardless of what their beliefs are, you know, I, I still got to do my job. Joseph, have you been here before? Huh? Have you been here before? Yeah, yeah. Travis, that is No, we can go ahead and see. He was smoking marijuana all day. According to this, 15 to 20 blunts, which is a lot of weed. Yeah, did, did you drink too? No. Nope. Smoke Just smoked all day? Yeah. You smoke every day? Yep. 15, 20 blunts a day. Every day. So how old were you when you first started smoking? 27. 27? Yeah, I'm a late bloomer. I guess all so. My, all my other friends that I know have been like, four years old, seven, ten. And you're just hooked, huh? Yeah. I'm like like bigger pie head than they are. OK. You got a job? No. So how do you get your money to smoke all day? SSI. SSI? Or SSA, and then I borrow money sometimes. Come on over here, and I'll ask you some medical questions. <laughs> are you on the doctor's care for anything? Uh, I, 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 Mental pills. Mental pills? So yeah, you have some psych problems? Yeah, I don't. I have do you see a doctor regularly? You ever, no. I mean, you ever no, had the thought of suicide? Yes, sometimes. All right. Do you feel suicidal right now? No. Nope. All right. All right. We'll get him cleared through medical since he came in under the influence. He's been smoking all day long, smoking weed, and uh, he's on mom's leg about more money so he can go get some more weed. And he started getting a little violent. We didn't really have anything to hook him for as far as felony goes, so we just pick him up for public intoxication, and uh, he gets to hang out with us for a few hours. He's here just for public intoxication. We're gonna let him sober up, come down off the weed a little bit. Are you under the influence of any drugs right now? <laughs> Marijuana. Okay, what about meth? No. Nope. Okay. His, his heart rate's really not bad at all. It's very slow, 62, so he probably isn't under the influence of meth. So, this smoke weed, like, I mean, people don't, like, like, look, I smoke weed this, like, if I had a quarter pound and everything's going cool and I'm listening to my music, I'll show you sit there and smoke two or three ounces in one day. Are you ready to get this process going so you can get yeah, out of here? Yeah, we can go. I didn't know if you were ready. Where do we go? Right there to the red door. Right here? Yes, hold on. I'm just going to go to bed probably. Maybe smoke one. But probably go to bed mainly. I'm 
tired. He's just a loser. He just sits around all day smoking weed and, and begging for money. He'll walk back home to mom and dad's and uh, probably start all over again tomorrow. And the doors open up and they leave me outside and they hand me my clothes and, and the key to my ride. Now the night hits my face and it brings me to life. Oh Lord, now I'm out that jail tonight. Another night in my street, another night in my hair. Now I'm kicking and tripping without the cops on my chair. Now my hands on the wheel and my fingers grew tight. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. And the doors open up and they leave me outside. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my needs. I don't wanna be.